The parameters used in this video, such as the size of the tricone chromatography column, type of chromatography resin, packing volume, and flow rate are examples. In actual operation, please follow the experimental requirements and the resin instructions. Estimate the amount of slurry needed based on the final volume of the column. Most of our resins are delivered in a slurry concentration of 75% in storage solution. In most cases, 20% ethanol. To calculate the slurry volume needed to pack a column with a certain volume, the following equation can be used. For example, to pack a 10 milliliter column with a resin that has a slurry concentration of 75%, and with a compression factor of 1.15, the necessary slurry volume will be 15.3 milliliters. The compression factor is often found in the instructions for the resin. If not available, use a compression factor of 1.15. Ensure that the resin is washed thoroughly into the packing solution before packing is started. Use a fritted glass funnel to wash the resin over to the packing solution. Suspend the resin by shaking it gently and pour it into the funnel. Remove the liquid using vacuum and wash the resin at least three times with the recommended packing solution to ensure that all storage solution has been removed. Gently stir with a plastic spatula between washes. After the last wash step, add packing solution to obtain the slurry concentration for the specific resin and column type. Now that you have prepared the resin, the next step is to prepare the column. In this video, we will guide you how to pack a tricorn column with the anion exchanger Capto Q Impress. The dimension of the column is 10 mm inner diameter and 10 cm height. We will pack the column with approximately 7 mL of resin. Before initiating the packing of any chromatography column, make sure you have all the proper components in order. To pack the column, you will need the resin, a column, a second column that will act as a reservoir for the resin slurry, a packing connector to join the column and the reservoir, the bottom unit, the top adapter, column stop plugs, a syringe connector, filter tools, and general lab equipment. You should also have distilled water and 20% ethanol. Column packing is preferably performed on a chromatography system such as EctaPure. EctaPure is capable of delivering the pressure and flow required to create a well-packed column. In addition, the integrated UV and conductivity monitors along with the Unicorn Control software will help you evaluate the quality of the column packing. All column components must be in perfect condition. Inspect the glass components, paying particular attention to the ends. Columns with chipped ends should be replaced. Wet the bottom filter in 20% ethanol and place it on the bottom unit. The hydrophobic properties of 20% ethanol help prevent air getting trapped in the filter. It is best to use a new filter when you pack a column. A reused filter may be dirty or otherwise damaged and can adversely affect your results. Make sure to use a filter with a mesh size that is compatible with your resin. Tamp the filter down with the filter tool to make sure it is securely in place. Attach the bottom unit to the end of the column and secure it with the threaded end piece. Lubricate the O-rings with 20% ethanol to thread the adapter into the column. Add some distilled water or 20% ethanol to the column to a height of a few centimeters. Attach a syringe to the bottom and draw the liquid through to eliminate any remaining air. Leave at least one centimeter of liquid in the bottom of the column and replace the syringe with a stop plug. Attach the column to the reservoir through the packing connector. Mount the column to the system and level the column. If not level, the packed column may produce broad or crooked bands. Begin packing the column by remixing the resin slurry to ensure homogeneity. Pour the slurry down a glass rod or spatula held against the wall into the column. This will minimize the formation of air bubbles. It is crucial to pour all the resin at once without stopping. 
Add packing solution if the slurry does not reach the top. Wet the top filter in 20% ethanol and place it on the top of the column. Now take the top adapter, making sure the O-ring is intact, and insert it into the reservoir. Ensure that the inner part of the guide ring fits into the slot on the tube threads. Add the locking ring to hold the adapter in place. Use the pump wash function in Unicorn to remove any air in the system or tubing. Ensure that the pressure alarm is set according to the column hardware specification. See the column instructions for details. Start the pump and attach the tube to the top of the reservoir at low flow rate with a drop-to-drop -drop connection. Avoid introducing air bubbles. Place a beaker for waste under the column and remove the stop plug. After a final check, start the pump at a flow rate that is recommended for your resin. Different flow rates are used for packing different resins. Some resins are packed in two phases. Please check the packing instructions before starting the flow. If you work at lower temperature, reduce the flow accordingly to avoid high back pressure caused by high viscosity. After the indicated packing time for the specific resin, stop the pump. Place the stop plug at the bottom of the column. Remove the column from the stand. Detach the column from the reservoir over a beaker. Remove the filter and add some packing solution to the top. Lay a clean, wetted filter onto the top of the liquid surface. Insert the top adapter to the top of the column. Ensure that the inner part of the guiding rings fits into the slot on the tube threads. Liquid will be expelled out of the top as the adapter pushes the filter down to the surface of the resin. Add the locking ring to hold the adapter in place. Make a drop-to-drop -drop connection and run the pump at the flow rate used previously during the compression of the packed bed. Run for a couple of minutes until the bed stabilizes. Mark the level of the packed bed. Stop the pump. Remove the connection to the pump, undo the locking ring and screw the adapter down to the mark and then two to three millimeters further down. Reconnect the pump with the drop-to-drop -drop connection. Open the bottom of the column and run the column to check for any further bed movement. Readjust the adapter if necessary. Your column is now packed. If you are not using the column right away, remove the connection to the pump. Screw stop plugs into both the top and bottom end of the column. Inspect for any channel or gap and your packed column is ready to use. A performance test can evaluate the performance of the packed column. It is an excellent tool to check and document the quality of a column over its lifetime. It is also an effective diagnostic tool when performance problems occurs. There are two methods used for the performance test. One is using distilled water as mobile phase, 1% acetone as sample, and testing UV absorption at 280 nanometer wavelength. The other uses 0.4 molar sodium chloride as mobile phase, 0.8 molar sodium chloride as sample, and the conductivity curve is evaluated. The sample volume of these two methods is 1% of the column volume. The flow rate to use for both methods is 30 centimeters per hour. Mount the column to the system and make a drop-to-drop -drop connection. Use a syringe to inject the sample to the sample loop. In Method Editor, choose the Column Performance Test Template. 
type and related parameters such as pre-column and delta pressure limit according to the column and resin type, inlet of buffer, flow rate, volume of equilibration, and volume of sample application. Here, Capto QN Press was packed in Tricorn 10 over 100 to a volume of 7 milliliter. The pressure limits were set accordingly and the sample volume was set to 0 0.07 milliliters. Apply the sample and start the method. When this run ends, open the result and integrate the UV signal. Type in the bed height of the pack column. Click right in data table, select HETP in a symmetry. Here you can find relevant values of column performance in the data table. The qualified HETP needs to meet requirements described in the user manual, and asymmetry needs to be between 0.8 and 1.8. Based on these requirements, the performance test of this column is passed, and column packing has been successfully performed. Part of the packing process includes an efficient way to unpack the column. Remove the stop plug on top, remove locking ring, top adapter, and filter. Set appropriate pressure and flow rates in Unicorn, place a beaker under the column, and flush out the resin from the column using liquid flow. Your column and resin can now be reused.